Welcome back to Conjurer. I'm your host, Lost One, and today we will be looking at starter deck number three. So as opposed to starter deck number one and two, this one's only 30 cards and it contains some spells. So we've got God Supports Me, we've got Slay Weakling, Plagued Elk, Berserker, Fire and Sword, Quicksand, Void Hound, Hammer of Thor, Sewer Gator, and Lord Victus. So this deck is looking at using Fire and Sword, Slay Weakling, and Hammer of Thor to control the board and prevent the enemy from getting big creatures out. Meanwhile, using Lord Victus to cycle our spells and also our sewer gators to deal major damage to the opposition. So let's see how this does in gameplay. Straight in, so we're second turn and we will buy one mana and use a god supports me. Uh, next turn we'll have six mana available but we'll play a berserker depending on what they do and use one mana to buy and our god supports me so the gorthog will actually kill our berserker if we play him however we've got this void hound so We'll play the Void Hound uh, just to the side of the Gorthog, and they may choose to just ignore the Void Hound. Sometimes the player may take quite a while to respond because they're playing several games at once, or they've been called away from the computer or whatever. So what's happened there is a flash of light to basically remove the one point of health from our Void Hound and played Rogard. Um, so what we'll do to respond to that is we'll play a Quicksand and buy a mana. That allows us nine mana for next turn. We'll be able to play a Lord Victus and get a cycle going be interesting to see how they respond to the quicksand whether or not they actually move the rogard out alrighty so get our lord victorson and rather than playing the god supports me we'll just leave it because if we play god supports me we'll end up putting that on top of our graveyard and at the moment sitting on top of our graveyard is our Void Hound and we want to basically put that back on top of our deck which is what Lord Victus is, does is when he gets damaged he resurrects the top card of the graveyard so that Fire and Sword has damaged Lord Victus so on top now is our nice void hound and now our quicksand is on top so we'll do that again we'll play that there we'll play a berserker and we'll buy one and use our god supports me now what they may choose to do is place one of these three cards here in front of the Rogard and that will allow Rogard to attack and kill our Berserker and this will probably be exactly what they do, yep so we need to try and get maybe a Sewer Gator into play so with that Rock Golem there what they'll do is they'll use the opportunity to transfer the Rogard across. But what we'll do is we'll play our 
Void Hound. I'll play a Sewer Gator behind Void Hound. That just protects our, vo our Sewer Gator for the time being. And depending on what they do, if they choose not to move that Rogard, I'll move their Void Hound across to in front of the Rock Golem and use Sewer Gator to attack their Lightbringer. And then I'll place either another Sewer Gator or the Berserker in front. One nice move, they've cleared out the area. So we will play our Victus at the back and play our Berserker and move our Silgator out of the way. I really want to get a Hammer of Thor. It's a couple in this deck. If I can get a Hammer of Thor, I can kill that quicksand and then access that Kayla at the back. Which I'll do with Void Hound. However, they may set up the Victor Cycle. So I'm going to run the risk and I'm going to draw a card. And there we go, we've got a Slay Weakling. We'll kill off that quicksand. Cool. That opens them up. Now we'll kill Kayla. And we'll kill the Fairy. We'll put that Slay Weakling back on top. We'll buy a mana. So if they don't kill Void Hound, I'll kill the Ethereal Fairy. And then I'll use Slay Weakling to kill their Rock Golem. However, they may choose to fire everything at Victus. So what they've done there is they're protecting the Fairy. Oh, this is not looking good. So at this stage they've got too many creatures on the field for me to effectively do anything. Any creatures I play are just going to get killed off basically instantly. Um, I need to get some heavy removal like Hammer of Thor. However, um, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Especially if they set up another cycle with my Victus. So this is some of the danger you can get into with a Victor Cycle, is the enemy can actually dictate what you're going to draw. And if that happens, you basically lose the game because you can't draw any new cards. So it's interesting that they've moved... Ah, there we go. Another quicksand, but we've got the Slay Weakling in our hand. So we'll kill that off. And then we'll use our Sewer Gator to kill their Sewer Gator. So we'll do this. Sewer Gator for Sewer Gator. Kill the Paladin Kayla. Puts our Sewer Gator back on top. We'll play a Void Hound and another Void Hound and we'll draw mana, and uh, we'll buy mana. Not sure how well this will work, but fingers crossed. If I was them, I would kill off this Void Hound here and then kill the Victus. And that's exactly what they've done. So, as I said, they've dictated, so now I've got Void Hound back on top. Obviously they're not aware that I have this Plagued Elk in my hand. So I'll play Plagued Elk. Kill the Rock Golem.
I will play my Void Hound of, behind my Plague Delk, protecting it, buy a mana, end of turn. So I'm out of cards, this is dangerous for me because they know I've got nothing else in my hand that can surprise them and I don't really know what's in their hand. They've got 13 mana they can use. Will they bother killing the Plagued Elk or will they just wait until it dies from its plague next turn? And indeed they will. They'll kill my Void Hound. Well, that was interesting. They didn't kill the Void Hound. Here we go. This is what I've been needing for a while. And let's see if I do that. I'm open for 14 points of no, because everything drops one. So I'm open to six, nine, twelve points of damage. And what can I do next turn? I can play one Silgator. Well, we'll run the risk. We'll see what happens. Basically, unless I draw something like a Hammer of Thor or So, there's not really anything I can draw that will save me here. And that goes close, but I need another life, so I can't do anything. If they hadn't played that Gorthog, then I could play my Sorgator in front, and they would have only been able to attack me for one damage. Unfortunately, that Gorthog meant that they could attack me for the extra Alrighty this time we've got a fairly healthy opening hand we've got a fire and sword and a slay weakling and there's a quicksand so we'll just carry out the standard procedure buy mana, use a god that supports me have six next turn, we'll drop Sorgator and the god supports me. So they've played Diversion, that's a new um, card that basically protects his Gorthog from damage from either spells or attacks. So as you can see, normally I'd be able to attack the Gorthog, but I can't. I'd have to target the Diversion. Luckily this is where our Slay Weaklings comes in. And we'll just pick it off like that and kill the Gorthog. Now I'll play a Berserker behind and end turn. So the reason I've got Berserker behind is if they decided to play a Fire and Sword that would have killed both the Berserker and the gator. However in this case because I had the gator blocking the berserker they've had to use both a play elk and a fire and sword and it's prevented them from doing anything else with their turn. So I basically use two cards they make them use two cards instead of just one to kill off all the mine and basically they waste their turn So that's fine, I'll use my Fire and Sword to weaken the Grog and sacrifice one for one by a mana in turn. So they bring out a Swift Grog again. This time I'll play Quicksand. And I will play Berserker behind that. Diversion prevents 
their creatures getting damaged by my cast spells and attacks, they can still get damaged when they attack me. So here we go, we'll use our Slay Weaklings to kill the Diversion. And we'll use a Plagued Elk to kill the Swift Grogue. And we'll use another Plagued Elk to kill the Ethereal Fairy. So it seems to be a very much a Swift Grogue deck. It's just based on Swift Grogue after Swift Grogue after Swift Grogue. Probably Ethereal Fairies and Swift Grogues. And Plagued Elks. So there's a Dagra that'll give them the ability to draw more cards. Unfortunately we don't really want them to do that. Um, we'll use another quicksand, hopefully this time it doesn't get hammered straight. So them having to draw a card is always a good sign. That's telling me that they didn't have the removal, otherwise they would have used it. So unfortunately we're getting a lot of God supports me right now. That's not helpful because I don't want God supports me. That's a little bit later in the game. It would be really nice to just get creatures So there I had my Okay, this is an issue. Swift Grow because of its awesome ability to just continuously attack without going to sleep would be able to drop my quicksand in just like that. However, we'll get rid of the other one. Because it'll bug me otherwise and it will kill my quicksand and there we go their quicksand oh, sorry their swift grog has died to quicksand's effect and there's another swift grog wouldn't be surprised if another one comes out shortly no, it's another dagger to get some more draw going um, i'm very aware that i'm down to now nine cards i just draw another god supports me Let's draw another card. Let's draw another card. I'm just trying to get some cycle going. Kill the Mesma. There's not really a lot else we can do. We're down to seven cards. I don't think I've actually drawn any Victus yet. So that gives me a little bit of hope. Here we see the Swift Grogue using its ability to full effect to kill off my quicksand. Oh, that diversion, just nasty. Okay, here's our first Victus. So let's chuck him smack bang in front of our Swift Grogue. We'll place a Void Hound behind. No, we won't. We'll draw a card actually. So there's a sewer gator, that'll help. So they're upping the damage of Swift Grogue and all the rest of their cards. Ooh. Ouch. There diversion is going to protect that quicksand so I can't just use a um, kill card on it so I'm going to have to do it the hard way which is kind of like that and we'll place that there and we'll kill off the uh, ethereal fairy and bring our Hammer of Thor back on top. So that's how. Oh, that's just nasty. And that's game because they'll be able to deal the damage required. Let's try again. Hopefully, we'll have some more luck. 
Right, so this time we've got a Victus, a Hammer of Thor, and a Sewer Gator in our opening hand. It may seem like a bad thing that I've got so much high mana cost in my hand, in my opening hand. However, when you consider you get one for your buying mana, you get one for God Supports Me, and you get one for the mana rollover. And that gives you six on turn two, and that allows you to play a six mana cost creature or card. So it's interesting that they've played a Forest Knoll and then an Adara. It could potentially be because they're a new player. Normally I would have held that Adara back until I'd attacked with Forest Knoll. So what I'll just do is I'll place my Void Hound in front, even though I know my Void Hound will lose to the Forest Knoll. But it'll place a Void where that Void, uh, where that Forest Knoll is, and that'll stop the Adara from attacking. Okay, so what they're going to do is they're going to use both Plagued Elks to kill my Void Hound, and then attack me for the full damage with the Forest Knoll. That's alright, I will play the quicksand, I'll buy mana, I'll play the god supports me, and then next turn I'll play the Lord Victus. I could have played him that turn, the reason I didn't was because I didn't want to have 7 mana again next turn, I wanted to have a little bit more just in case they do something interesting. So because I know this deck relies on high mana cost spells and a bit and creatures, I want to try and build up my mana as best I can. So here's something interesting that they've done. They've played a Sewer Gator. That tells me that they can't deal with my quicksand just yet. So I'm going to use my Hammer of Thor, use my turn to get rid of that, and use the four mana remaining to play Berserker. It does mean that I end up with just 9 mana next turn instead of the 11 I could have potentially had but it's alright because I'll be able to use my Victus to full effect basically. So what I'll do is I'll play Victus in front of their Swift Grove and rather than attacking their Kevara with my Berserker I'm going to severely weaken their Grove by attacking it instead. I'll buy 1 mana and now their Adara is caught in Quicksand's effect. If I'd been them, I probably would have moved my Adara out, because personally, for me, as an opposition facing an Adara, once it's on the field, it's really just a 1-1. It's only when it's in the hand that it has all that power behind it. So I'm not really going to spend a lot of effort just to kill an Adara. If it's in there pinging me for 1 damage every turn, Cool, that can just sit there and attack me for one. So this is a good setup from them, they've got their Rogue Guard hiding behind their Berserker. However, they've shown me that they've got no cards left in their hand. So what we'll do is we'll use our Vectus to kill off their Berserker. It's really, really awesome. Because what they've just done is they've put my Hammer of Thor back on top. So I'm actually going to use my Hammer of Thor to kill the Berserker. And then I'm going to use my Victus to attack their Rogard. And put my Hammer of Thor back on top of the deck. And next turn what I'll do is I'll play my Lord Victus. And then if the Adara hasn't fallen to Quicksand's effect, I'll attack the Adara or one of these two Kavaras to put the Victus that's on top of my graveyard back on top of my deck. So that's the principle of a Lord Victus cycle. So what we do is we place our Victus, we'll buy a mana, end our turn, and then what I'll do is I'll attack on the Kavaras if they don't attack me first, and then I can draw the Lord Victus and cast them on the same turn because I'll have that one extra mana rollover. Okay, so this is a common error we see from newer players. I mean, there's nothing wrong with what they've done, playing 
all these cards out like this there's nothing wrong with it really it's more that it allows for a fire and sword to wipe out the entirety of it and again they've left the field wide open so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the God Supports Me actually I'm going to buy a mana first and then I'm going to play the God Supports Me after drawing a card because at the moment it's worth 6 to draw cards so I'll draw the card there's my Victus I'll play the God Supports Me that takes my draw card up to 7 gives me enough mana to cast my Hammer of Thor which I'll use on the Brin and then I can attack with my Victus recycling my Hammer of Thor and putting my Victus on top of my graveyard so when I come to next turn I can play my Victus again whereas if I played it the other way around if I'd just gone and used Hammer of Thor and then drawn a card and then played my Border Mana and played my God Supports Me when I attacked with my Lord Victus I would have put my God Supports Me back on top of my deck and that's what I don't want to do so now I'll just spend the turn to play the Victus and the Sewer Gator buy a mana and we're in contention to actually win this match all the while having our Hammer of Thor in hand just in case something big comes out um, seeing that was just a complete waste using that Plagued Out to attack Victus what they should have done is used the Plagued Out to attack the Sewer Gator and then what that would have done is prevented my Sewer Gator from attacking the Swift Rogue well it wouldn't have prevented it but it would have meant a one for one trade whereas here I can just attack it kill it I'm not going to do that because I've got my Hammer of Thor so I'll just use again my Hammer of Thor Victor Cycle Hammer of Thor goes back on top I could draw it but I'm not going to I'm going to play another Victus instead and I'm not even, I'm not going to bother attacking the Plagued Elk because the Plagued Elk is going to die anyway so there's no point taking the 2 damage on the Sewer Gator it's not going to achieve me if anything if I take 2 damage on him it's just going to mean that they could say drop a Fire and Sword and I'd lose my Gator all I'm going to do here is Hammer of Thor again right now there's no creatures so I'll just hit them not going to be able to cycle at this turn but that's fine and that should be the killing blow they have played a creature and unfortunately this deck is lacking Adara to wake my cards back up now there's an error they've made here and they've played the Gorthog in front of my weakest Victus what they should have done is played the Gorthog in front of one of my two Sewer Gators because my Sewer Gator is going to deal 6 damage to the opposition I'm going to completely ignore that that Gorthog's there what Gorthog? in fact I'm just going to draw cards if they played the Gorthog in front of one of my Sewer Gators I would have either had to use both Victus or one of my other Sewer Gator to clear the Gorthog out of the way and there we go straight through with Victus not going to bother with anything else for the victory so let's have a review of the deck we've been using starter deck 3 based heavily upon the use of spells to take control of the field and using Victus to recycle those spells and we saw the mechanic of the Victus cycle in that last match um, overall I'm not really sure about it I mean yes it's good in some regards it does work occasionally but it's just lacking something it needs a couple of tweaks to it to actually truly pull out its full potential but cheers for tuning in i've been lost one and you've been watching conjurer the game we'll see you next time